let's see here. Okay. Welcome. I'm just going to make sure my lighting is good, I hope. I think it's better there. Okay. We will run with that. Okay. Just give it a second to come up. Um, I'd like to welcome you. I'm Kelly Ag. I'm a stamping up independent um, stamping up demonstrator up north Michigan. Okay, so here we are. I am just okay. So if you're joining me, let me know. It's been about six months since I've done a a live, so. I'm excited and kind of nervous, <laughs> so, but, um, so yeah, if you're joining me, let me know that you're here, okay? Say hello, whatever, so we know, got somebody watching with me, but I wanted to show you what I'm going to be demonstrating today. I made a little fun fold card. And I'm using um, Share a Milk Shake Bundle, which is also for my um, card class to go this month. But so this is, it's it sits up like this. Um, I don't know if it's better, I'll show you after. I just glued that up, but I don't know if it's better to put uh, dimensionals underneath it. But I think the glue will be okay. And it says, Be My Valentine. Life is sweeter with you. And then the next card we're going to be doing is um, kind of another fun card, but is it got a little pop-up gift bag. And I was hoping I had a little tissue paper to put in here, but I, I don't know. I probably do somewhere, but we're still in the midst of redoing our, our place, so everything's kind of all over. So this is a fun card. I'll show you how to do this little gift bag and how to make it work. Okay. And then the next thing is just a little box, which I have tied, so I'm not going to untie it. But the only thing I could find, I wanted to go to the store and go shopping and get something with ice cream related. I couldn't find anything. So we had these little caramel dips and I made it about that size. So the fun part is though, is you could put embellishments in there. You could put a little um, soap in there and then take in, you know, if you wanted to do like some money or whatever for a little gift. But, okay, so we are using that. And in our new book, which is just, you can order today. It's very exciting. The little mini catalog. And if you need a catalog and I didn't send you one and I, you know, I can be your demonstrator. I would love to send you one. But, um, so what I'm using today, just quickly show you if I can find it. I'm still got to learn the new catalog. So I'm using this ribbon, um, and I'm using this paper. This is the Country Floral Lane 12 by 12 paper, so I'm using that. But now my cards to go, my class, I'm using the gingham paper, and I didn't... I don't know why I forgot to order the um, the gems. I forgot to order them. So they will be included in my class, okay? So I was just going to show you quickly. So with my card class to go, and you have only till January 10th to order it, um, you will get a pack of this and a pack of the gems. So you'll get a whole pack of that. And then you will get to do eight cards. There'll be four designs, um, two of each. You'll have all the, the stuff to go with it. You will, you will need to order the bundle or use whatever you have, but I'll give you enough white paper to stamp all this and cut it out. Like I'll be doing the circles and, um, you know, everything else. You just have to do the, um, thing and I'll probably even do the ice cream cone and the little things have that all cut out so i just love these cards the only thing they're missing are the little gems on them okay so very cute and i only have one um that i had cut for so far but this is how 
mine come. So this will, it'll say card number one, two, three, four, whatever, but everything is packaged in its own envelope. And then I always give you like a plenty to be stamping on, you know, whatever you need to stamp on, okay, and cut out. So everything is packaged like that separately. It will have the date of the class, um, what class it is, and then I'll send you a PDF the day that I ship them out. But if you got questions about my um, card class, just contact me because after six months of straight doing my card classes, you'll get a $25 product of your choice. You can let me know what that'll be. Um, but you have to stay in it for six months. So that's my little gift to you for, you know, being in my card club. Okay, so there's that. But if you got questions, just let me know. I don't want to bore you with all the details on that. Um, okay, so let's get started. We will do card number one, which will be this one. So I'm going to just kind of set these aside. I have been missing doing Facebook Lives, but we just had too much going on. So, okay. Get everything out of here. This is pretty basic. Um, now, on here, I use the craft paper, our little craft paper, um, to cut out the little Sunday bowl. But you could stamp it with crumb cake or whatever you want. doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm starting out with the sweet sorbet paper, and it is um, five and a half by eight and a half, and I scored it. Um, at four and a quarter and two and an eighth. Okay. So when you look at it, it's basically like this card. Okay, except we're doing it different and folded different. That's all. So I just love this set. That was the first one that I just really, I don't know, looks like a fun set. So, so now if you do my class, not only will you get four cards, four designs, but you can do you know, at least the two cards and if you want the little gift box. So I'll give you some more ideas, okay? So for the inside, we're gonna do a basic white and it is um, four by five and a quarter, okay? So I will take in, actually are these the same? Cause I gotta stamp a little bit. Yeah, they are. Okay, so that's that. Let me just set this up here so we can see. And then I use the, um, the style shapes to cut out the sweet sorbet and the, the white circles. And then this piece here is, um, this will go on the front and that is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I have the designer paper that is three by four, okay? So we're just going to kind of maybe start layering these and, and putting them together. And then I can always put down the, um, the measurements after the video if you need. So this is the um, Country Lane, I think, or Floral Lane paper. It's a 12 by 12. It just gives it a nice little border there. And then I can put this together. I don't know what I was doing when I made this card, but I got a little bit of some kind of ink on there. So that's why my ribbon's there. I may put my ribbon somewhere else. <laughs> I was trying to cover it up. So, and then this little piece, I think is kind of cool. You could use this for a lot of different sets, but, um. I just cut it out of there and I actually cut it out of a little designer paper, but it looks like it's petal pink. So nothing too, too major. And I didn't pop the, um, the circle up just because with postage anymore, everything's so expensive. So I just did my tape on there and stuck that on the back. 
okay? So I'm just going to kind of put it, let's see, right there. Okay, so we're going to take and put this. Now, what you got to remember when you put this on, kind of you build a center, but you don't want to put tape on the part that needs to pop up, okay? So it's about halfway, maybe just a little less than half. So I'm just going to take and add my tape here. You want to put enough on so it's going to stay good, but okay, I think I got plenty. I'm just going to kind of hold my finger there so I know how far to go up. Okay. Okay, very good. So we got that. Okay. So let's go ahead and stamp. It says, Be My Valentine inside. You can put whatever you want. All right, so we will write, Be My Valentine. So let me know if you're watching where you're from. And are you excited about the the new catalog? I always get excited. It takes me a while for it to all sink in and everything. So let me just close this up so I don't get ink on me. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this piece, before I do the inside, I'm going to put this piece right on the bottom or you can leave it out a little bit if you want. I'm going to put it right on the bottom. So this piece of designer paper is, I believe it's three quarters by four, or I'm sorry, three quarters by, um, let's see, five and a quarter, because that's for the inside. And then you have two of these little strips of the sweet sorbet that are just a quarter of an inch by, um, five and a quarter. So what I'm going to do is just glue one on top of the other. Now, like I said, if you just want to use one strip, you could um, use the, the mini dimensionals on it. But I was just hoping to kind of not have it too. I'm going to hold this up because I got kind of a lot of glue on the one side. But it gives it just that little bit of a lip so your um shoot your card will stay together. Oh, let's see here. I may have to cut another piece or cut some of this off. My glue's stuck and I didn't have them even. Eh, hate when that happens. Okay, let's see if I can save this without it being too bad. I guess to make sure. That you got them even here. I think I can save it. I can get that even. Hmm, I don't think I brought any extra paper right, real close to me, but I think, uh, let's see, do I like that or don't I? I really don't like that, but I don't want to run and go get more paper, so I think I can make it work but you want to make sure you get them glued on but I'm going to put this side down see that glue works pretty fast actually but if you didn't want to use the glue at two of these you could use the um like I said the mini dimensionals ah that'll be fine okay so that's that, and what we're gonna do is just tape it in. Oh, and I think I'm out of tape. So now we are using glue. Should have changed that before I started. It's gonna take me a while to get back in the groove of things. Okay, let's see. Um, all right, so we're gonna put that it's just checking if anyone had any questions. So we got the 
piece of designer paper that is three quarter inch by um, five and a quarter. And then um, the two little strips that are quarter of an inch by five and a quarter. So there, that makes the card stand up like that. Okay, which is cute. So now when I did mine, my ice cream bowl, I actually didn't pop it up, but I popped this up and it didn't look right. So then I added another one and popped it up. So your choice of either popping it up and then pop the first one up or just don't pop any of them up because it didn't look right. Like one was, looks like it's overflowing, but that's just my opinion. So I'm going to just put one down and then I'm going to um, do the ice cream. But you never know, I cut out another one just in case. If I didn't like it, I could always add to it. Okay, so we're going to go right there. Then I cut a spoon out with the silver foil. But I'm gonna go ahead and stamp. Let's see. I'm gonna take that off there. So I'm going to stamp one ice cream cone in the, I believe it's the petal pink. Or one ice cream scoop, I'm sorry. Okay, so in the petal, I don't like how that turned out. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to do one. Let's see, I have a scrap paper here. This is light, so I'm just going to stamp off a little bit. And then one in the sweet sorbet. And then I'm going to take in, let's see. I don't know how I get the ink way too much here. And then we do do a cherry. Okay, and then I'm going to do the words yet. So let's see. And it says, life is sweeter with you. And I just have a little scrap piece that I think is three quarters of an inch here. I just want it to barely fit on there. So I appreciate if you share with your friends my video. I would like that. It would be wonderful. But... Um, Let's see, I need some scissors. I'm just going to snip this a little shorter. Okay. All right, let's not lose our spoon and stuff. And I'm going to get my little mini cut in a boss machine. And what's really nice with this, if you decide to purchase a starter kit, and you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do classes or anything like that if you don't want to. But um, it's such a great deal. You can get this free, the white one, or they have a boho blue. Or they, um, are, if you don't want that, you already have one, you can get an extra $50 worth of product, which is an awesome, awesome deal. So, so I'm putting it on the ice cream scoop. Oops, and the cherry. Okay, I must have glue on my fingers because it's sticking. So the cherry, you have to um, make sure in this little dot that you can see the stem. Okay. On my other ones, I cut them out already so you don't have to watch me do this. And I don't think I like how that moved on me. Yesterday I was cutting all day and didn't have any problems with it moving. Now, if you have trouble with your machine with the plates going through, most of the time I don't. But if you do, you just stagger them a little bit, okay? Most of, well, if you've been following me, oops, don't want to lose that. If you've been following me, you know we've been redoing our cabin. 
and I'm right looking out the front window at the river and it's absolutely beautiful. My husband's on the dock just enjoying, <laughs> enjoying being outside. So it's kind of nice. We're enjoying it. We still got a little bit left to do yet, but we'll get there. Doing the work ourselves, so it takes a lot longer. But okay, so there's that. And I just keep my plates in there. Okay. So this is the part that cuts out the waffle cone. I think that's really cool. And then the straw. The straw is really nice because it's like you can do um, colored straws. I have that on here. I did a, a pink and a... I think I actually stamped off and did it so to make it like that. Okay, so we are going to add, we're just going to add our ice cream with some glue. I'm not going to pop any of that up. I did pop the cherry up, but I'm not even going to pop that up. I'm just going to add this. I'd like to get that tucked under there. I guess I can't. I'm just going to put that like that. Normally, I would have tucked that underneath. So you know what? I may be using that other one just to add to it. Okay, and then the little cherry. All right. And then, now what's fun with the other scoop of ice cream, there's actually that slit that cuts out for you um, to put your straw in. So I think I did tuck that under there. Let's see, I probably put too much glue. Ah. All right. You know, I've been using tape a lot, and I can tell I'm having trouble with this glue. So let's see what we can do here differently. Everything's coming off. I like how my spoon looks. You know what? We're just going to... Mm, I don't like that at all. I'm not going to use the spoon today. Let me see if I can change this now. Okay. Okay. That's what we're going with, okay? I should have tucked the spoon underneath, but we're good. So, and let me see how I put another one. I'd have to do it higher, so that's not going to look good either. Okay, so we're going to use, kind of changing this card around a little bit, but I am going to use the Dimensionals. Hopefully my lighting is good. You know, that was the thing that I always had trouble with when we were staying in our campers. I could not get the lighting as good as I would have liked it. So hopefully the lighting will be better here. Not sure, since this is my first video back. But. Okay, getting these little dimensional things off. So, since we're not doing the spoon, let's put that there. And I'm using the ribbon. I forgot to tell you that I was using this ribbon. This is a real red and burlap ribbon. So I'm using the burlap on the last one. It's really nice ribbon though. And I like that this ribbon is thinner because I think you get nicer bows out of it. I don't really like the real thick ribbon unless you're using it on like a package or something. And I also should have had some embellishments. I don't know why. My embellishments are kind of packed away. So I'm just going to add this on with a glue dot. And let's see. Oh, look at I got a glue dot on my nail. Get that off there. Uh, let's see if I can get that 
off of me. Okay. So do you got any favorites of what you want to order out of the mini catalog or no, but I just think that might be kind of cute there, but let's just put that there. I think that's cute. So a little bit different. Not much though. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? Kind of like it with the spoon sticking out, but I should have put that in first. See, when I popped up this, I was able to stick the spoon underneath. But this is just a fun fold that you could do with any card, really. Okay? So, our second card. This is the fun one. It really is fun, and it's not too hard. I had cut out some of the stuff so you don't have to watch me um, cut that out. So... Okay, so I'm going to just set my trimmer there. But the basic card is your, I got a thick um, white cardstock since that's my base. Okay, so it is five and a half by eight and a half. Um, just fold it in half or score it at one and a, or four and a quarter, I'm sorry. And then my, um, let me see, this is four by five and a quarter, and this is um, three seven eighths by five and a eighth. So just an eighth shorter. Okay, I'm going to glue this on, but I'm going to stamp my center of my card because I'm stamping right on that card stock okay so let's get that done it says you're the cherry on top which I think is cute so let's see if we can do that without making a mess okay so you're the cherry on top Ah, there we go. And I'm just going to do a little cherry next to it. I didn't do that on my other one. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. All right, let's just close this up for time being so I don't get ink in it. Hopefully you guys can find me because I know um, sometimes it takes a while. All right, I'm just going to fold that over because I'm going to glue this on to the front now. We'll kind of put the card together and then I'll do the little inside bag so you can follow along. All right. And I did cut a little piece of ribbon, so I'm not gonna, let's see. I just kind of put that underneath my little circle. So what I'm gonna do is, Gosh, put glue on the right side, right? So this is the same circles that I used for the first card. It's from the Stylely Shapes. So what I'm going to do, let me see how much ribbon do I got? Okay. What I'm going to do is just put glue on here. I used tape yesterday, so it was easy to do. And I'm just going to put that right there. And when that dries, it will be just fine. Okay? So let's stamp our little celebrate. And this time I'm not going to cut off the other end. I'm just going to leave it. I think it'll be cute. So this is all from that set, the words. Oh, my dog's back in. Okay. And then, of course, I stamped the, um, the ice cream cone thing in the petal pink. So this is your waffle cone, okay? There's actually score lines in it. So it's easy to do. You just want to crease it really well. 
And I think the, the right side goes in first and then the left over it. And what I tried doing for my other cards is sometimes like I would just round this a little bit with my bone folder. And then if you really, if you're not sending the card so it's extra thick, but you could actually add some dimensionals in there so it's like pops up more. But I'm just going to take and glue this today because with the little gift bag inside, it's going to be plenty thick. So, okay. And then I did my little ice cream, the same thing. And I'm just going to kind of stick that in there. Now there is a little piece that you can cut out so it kind of tucks under there. Um, let's see, what piece was it? I think I actually used like this piece on the one and I cut it out so I could in the petal pink to kind of fill that in or the smaller one. But either one's fine. So let's go ahead and glue this down. And then two for the waffle cone, you can ink the edges so it stands out a little bit more. I'm gonna just move that over a touch. I might add the cherry with a dimensional, just a small one. Okay, and let's see. We are gonna do the celebrate with the dimensionals too, but I think because this is thick, I'm going to put one here in the beginning of the celebrate, and then I'm going to do a couple on the end here. I'm not seeing any comments, so I don't know if if there's anything, any questions, I'll go back and, and check after. Okay or I will respond to your comment. Okay, um, just in case there's any questions, I lost the heart. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I lost my small little heart, but that's okay. Not sure where it is in this, but I'm just going to use the two that I got. I lost the small one. It cuts out three hearts. Not the first time I lost something. I'll probably find it once I'm done. I'm gonna put that there. And then the other one we'll put down here. So we're kind of just changing that up a little bit since I only got the one or the two. So, all right. And what's nice is the hearts all cut out together. So makes it easy for cutting out. There's three there. Okay. All right, so that's the front. That's pretty simple. So let's go into the um, the little gift bag. All right, I have a sheet that is 10 and a half by four, okay? And I did not score it yet, so I'm gonna go through and score it with you. Um, on the four inch side, we are going to score it at a half an inch. So I'm using this side to score it, okay? You're gonna score it at a half an inch. And this is that country floral paper. Then turn it around and go score it at a, an inch. Okay, so on the 10 inch side, So I got a half an inch here and an inch on this side, okay? Now on the 10 and a half inch side, I'm gonna go a half an inch. So I'm doing it on this side because it's easier for me to do. Then I'm gonna just turn it around so I can finish. Um, I'm gonna do an inch. So a half an inch and an inch, five inches, five and a half, six inches and 10 inches. So you'll have like a half an inch there, okay? So you got um, a half inch, an inch, 
five inches, five and a half, six inches, and ten inches. Okay. All right, let's fold this because sometimes it's kind of hard to see. So this is that inch. That will be where your handles will be. I thought this was so cute. And if you add a little tissue paper, it's even cuter. So it's kind of hard to see your lines like on the dark side, but I'll make sure I'm folding right on the line. So let's see, there it is. Get my six inch line. I guess I'm at my five and a half here. Okay, almost there. And one more. Oh, I got that one already. Okay, so this is what you're going to want. Okay, so we're going to, this is a half inch part that we're here. I kind of got, oh, I got to fold these. That's what I was missing. All right. So this is your paper. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to do it on this side because I can see better. Get my, all right. So this is where you got your um, half inch and your inch score mark. We're going to take both of them out. That's why I like to do a template on white paper because it's easier to, um, you know, to see. So I'm going to take these two ends out as well. Now for my handles, I use the gold, the gold twine, but you can use, so we're going to take out these two as well. You can use ribbon. The thing that you don't want to do though is make it too long. I'm going to fold these in. Okay, so you can see, and I'll turn it around because it's probably harder for you guys to see this than... I still can't see, so I gotta turn around. I wasn't sure since I, it's been a while since I did a video, if Facebook would have changed things on me. They did a little bit, but not too bad. Okay, so this is how it will look. This is the outside. I don't know if you can see these lines, but I will take and put this down too. So, um. Let's see, I want that to go in. You just want it creased really well. But this is how um, your purse will be, your little bag. And this will be the bottom. And this is the top for your handles, okay? So, whoops. Let me take this out of here. So you actually have the inch on top. That's where your handles are going to go and you're going to hide them. So we will go ahead and do that. And you wanna do your handles first because the first time I did this, I did not. And then I had a heck of a time um, to get the rest or the handles actually done. So what you're gonna do is fold this in. Let's see, I gotta look because I did that. Yeah, you're not gonna pierce on this inch because that's what you're going to do is cover that up. So it'll hold the handles in very well but where is my little piercing to? Hmm. Oh, here. So what I'm gonna do is bring this out, kind of fold it like that so it's even. And I'm just going to go ahead in uh, probably about an inch and a half or, so they're kind of centered. They don't have to be perfect. And I'm just using my piercing tool, so. So I'm going to go through here and kind of do that a little bit bigger because you need 
enough to get through there. Okay, so I'm going to use the twine again. And you don't need that much because the thing is, is you don't want your handles sticking out when you go to fold this. You want them so they're still in. The very first time I did it, my handles were sticking out. So, so I'm going to say probably so you got enough to work with, maybe like four to four and a half inches. I don't even know how long that is, but it's not that long. Okay. And then your tear tape. That will help you. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to stick these in here, if I can get them in there, in the hole from the um, outside of the bag. You can get them both in there, that's great. So kind of look, I think that should be good, could probably even get it out a little bit. So it's about an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch above the bag. So I'm going to go ahead and... What I'm going to do is put tear tape on these little pieces here. Okay. You almost like need to see how to do this to, to make sure. And then, and you can tear that off, but what I'm going to do also is put, oh gosh, I'm going to be out of tear tape. Ew. Ah, shoot. I got to save this. I might have to use my glue dots. I need, my, I need more tear tape and I don't have it. Ugh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is tear this off. So you will wanna finish this with tear tape. I'm gonna just use a glue dot to hold that in. But I'm out of all my tapes, huh? Not good. Sometimes nails come in handy, sometimes they don't. But I have a whole new, <laughs> tape thing I'd have to go look for it okay so what we're going to do is do this so see if we can compromise I would have liked tear tape for my other part though so would have been easier adding it on the bottom but I'll use glue to show you okay so see we're going to close that up okay um, so we'll go back to putting our other little piece in So you could use ribbon, like I said, but it's a little more difficult. Okay, so we got this, and I am going to kind of close that to see if the handles are about the same. I think I can bring that one in a tad. I just snipped a little bit off, but let's use a glue dot. So I want to make sure that those stay in there good. Okay, that should be fine though. But definitely use tear tape if you can, but I think with the glue and everything, they'll be fine. Okay, so we'll glue this side too. So I gotta make sure that that's pressed down really good. Okay, so this part is going to fold in and this part, let me just make sure I got this right because I wanna make sure I'm showing you right. So with the piece that has the, the half inch and the inch, you are going to glue this down just like that, okay? But before you glue it down, make sure that it fits good and everything will be even, so it will be, okay? So I'm gonna put glue on this piece right here. That's that little half inch with the inch, so it's this end right here that has the two, okay? So we're going to put that down and it's going to, oops. I just need it to see. That's why I make sure that I got it all even. And then press down. 
Of course, it's probably going to be sticky. So I'll get my um, eraser out after. And then this side goes in here. Okay, so that's how that makes your, um, your little bag. So now to put it in your card, which the tear tape would have been much nicer, but we're going to do this. Um, you're going to open this up and I'm going to put, you'd put your tear tape right there on the bottom and you would line it right up to the crease. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So we're going to put our little glue and I don't want to put too much. So it's squirting all over, but enough. Okay. So we're going to line it right up. And kind of center it in your um your card from top to bottom, I guess. And just push down. And if you had the tear tape, it wouldn't take long at all. Um so oh, I can see now. Hi Donna. <laughs> I never know how to do all that comment thing. They keep changing everything. So now we will do the same on this side. So it's just this little bottom part that you're putting your tear tape on. And then I'm going to just hold that for a second. <coughs> All right, so I'm just going to get a drink of water. Okay. So let's see, there you go, it pops up. Now it's your grandkids or kids or it wrecks really anybody. And then you can put the gift card in like my handles are in there, so not too long, okay? So pretty easy, not too bad actually, it's really a cute card. But I'll put the measurements for the inside of that box, so we'll be good, okay. So I was trying to get something for this box to, um, that would be for the ice cream. Oh, look at, here's my little heart. <laughs> here's my third heart in the wrong bag, I think. Maybe I might've put it here, but I could use it if I don't use it on this card. I think I just cut them up for extras. But on this box, I was looking for something that I could use that was like for ice cream, but I couldn't find anything. And I really didn't go shopping, to be honest with you. We went shopping, but not, I couldn't find what I was looking for. But I, I used this little caramel tip, okay? Not that it's for ice cream, but it could be. And you could put like money in there if you're using it for a birthday. But also this box will fit, you know, you could easily fit this, maybe even a couple of them. Or what is really Really cute is a package of embellishments would fit in there and you could use the thicker embellishments and these are new they're those little daisy flowers I think or something they're really cute but um that would fit in there I would I'm sure a couple of these but this is what my guide was okay so we will go ahead and now this is the country um floral paper as well the 12 by 12 okay so this is um so you actually get like a three inch box by an inch deep from this okay so I have this five by eight and a half and on the five inch side I'm going to score an inch on both sides Now on the other project, because we did an inch and a half inch, because one was the bottom and one was for the handles to cover them. So difference, most of the time your boxes are the same on each side. Now on the eight and a half side, I am going to score at three inches. What other things could we put in here? I'm gonna score three inches, four inches, Jewelry, you could do jewelry, seven inches and eight inches. I get my trimmer up. Okay. 
All right, so that's all the scoring we have to do on that one. Now this box I had to do just twice because I didn't like how the tabs were turning out. So I moved it on a different way and it works out much better, okay? Which project do you like so far the best? Do you like the little pop-up card or the fun faux card? Okay, so how we're going to do this one is a little different. And I'm not, I'm only going to angle <coughs> these tabs here and then some of them. Otherwise, I'm going to keep it the same because the other thing is the first time I angled them and then I couldn't, my box wasn't even. So I found it a little easier to just do the short ones. And you don't have to do a lot. Okay, and then we'll do the same on this side. The lighting's okay, isn't it, Donna? Can you see? I think it looks okay. And then, um, so this one, what you're going to do is cut right down from your half inch to, um, I think that's an inch and a half. So you're going to cut right down like that on both sides. I'm going to angle this little tab, which... Probably should have waited to do that. Okay, so then on this now, you're just going to cut, I don't know, that kind of in half off. So you're not going to go right to the very um, score line, but close. You're going to leave about a quarter of an inch to half inch. So I'm going to fold this so I can, I am going to um, angle these a little bit. And I'll show you what my box looks like. Okay, I had it a different way, but I didn't like that it didn't um, close very good. So this is what you're going to end up with, okay? So that's where you do your, um, this is your three inch, four inch line, seven inches, and then eight inches, and you got that little half inch, so. And you're just going to fold it up. You're going to put a little glue there and do the back first and then the front. But let's take and glue our little pieces of designer paper on. And this is from the same thing. And this is um, a little, let's see, I think it is um, two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. You just got to make sure you get your box. Let's see, that will be the front. Just want to make sure you put it on right. So imagine your box closed. So this one will have to go this way. Okay. So if you don't feel good about if it's got a design on it, don't put it on until after. It will be, it will be fine. Okay, ah, we're good. All right, so let's put a little bit of glue on our tabs. You don't need a lot. I just like so they stay on. And then with not cutting this, you can go right even because you want your box to be even. You can put it right down on your table and um, line it up much easier, or at least I think you can, okay? So we got that. Now we're going to put it on these tabs and bring that right up. Now I do prefer to use glue on this because it gives me some wiggle room for the most part. But you can just take and keep it right on the table and it'll all line up good for you. Okay. Mine was kind of wonky when I cut those tabs off. One side was higher than the other. And I'm just using my bone folder to press that down good. And see how that closes just like that. Okay. I thought that was kind of nice. I'm a little bit 
Let's see, not too bad there. So let me see, I'm going to put the little embellishments in there, okay? So we will do that. And then I am going to, I use both of these ribbons. I really like this one. Um, so I'm just going to, let's see, lay this out and kind of just bring it up so you have enough to keep the box closed. What I was trying to do was not cover up the bikes. Okay, so I got a couple inches above the box. And you wouldn't even have to do that, but this is just a different way to close it. And then I got a little piece of the red ribbon to tie my knot. And I just tied the knot, I did not tie a bow. Which just should be fun, right? <laughs> Hopefully I cut my ribbon enough. And if you can't hold it tight, you can um, always tighten it after. Oh. Let's see here. And you can just tie it like that because you can adjust it after. But I'm gonna tie it in a knot. I got my ribbon long enough. Okay, so now you can pull it up, kind of, Adjust it that way, okay? And like that. And then I'm just going to cut these. So, and you can kind of pull them however. Okay, so like that. And then I just took in, did celebrate. So you'd want to put in, you know, something that you could, that you're celebrating. You could just do it for, um, you know, I, well, gift card probably wouldn't fit in there, but money would, some jewelry, candies. Okay, so there's celebrate. And I ended up cutting one side off, but I'm not going to because I might add this small little heart on there. But I'm gonna pop that up. Then I'm just gonna kind of do it on the ends because the center will be popped up with that ribbon. If you want the ribbon to make sure it stays in place, um, you could add just another one and that'll kind of help. So I got that. So I'm so glad you guys could join me today. I really miss doing the Facebook Lives. And um, I'm going to do a little heart on there. I hope I too much glue don't squirt out. But um, hopefully I can be, I think I'm going to aim for Thursday mornings. Okay. Oh, I like it with the heart. I liked it a lot. Cute. I did cut that off because I was, I actually had it up here, but I didn't like it. But, um, so now I have a host code, but if you decide you want to order $35 or more with the host code before Sunday night, I will send you the stuff to make these three projects, but you will have to have the stamp set. I'll cut this out. You'll get extra paper, but I'll send it to you for you placing an order using the host code, but it has to be by Sunday night. So Monday I get things ordered and start cutting. So, okay. But, and I'll probably do this celebrate instead, <laughs> but all right. If you got any questions, let me know. Um, hopefully you enjoy the fun little projects and you can make them and we will see you next week. Okay, if you got questions or need a catalog, let me know too. Bye-bye.